guys, my name is Sabina and welcome to another video. Today I have the biggest book haul that I've ever done. This is a 23 book book haul. This is insane. It is a collective book haul though. This is not just from the month June. So I'm really happy though because otherwise I would have felt so ashamed. Uh, this is like a mix of my birthday book haul and my birthday was on April 14th. So it's been a while. It's been about three months right now. Uh, plus I bought a ton of books after that. I got books from the Fairy Loot unboxings. Plus I got four books that I ordered yesterday and they arrived. So I'm just gonna show you all the books. I won't be telling you guys any in-depth synopsises because otherwise this video will be like 30 minutes long and I hope that I can make it around 15. So bear with me um, and let's just get started with the books that I got for my birthday because you know, it's been such a long time. The first thing that I got here for my birthday is something that is so incredible and it's so amazing and it is the Harry Potter box set! Oh my god! Uh, I myself don't have the Harry Potter books or I at least didn't have them before my birthday but my dad has all the Dutch books but I really really wanted this edition so these are the UK hardcover books and let's open it. As you can see there's a beautiful dragon on it and when you open it, here are the books. They are absolutely stunning. I'm gonna show them to you guys individually, but um, okay, how am I gonna do this? So the first book is of course, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This one is really pretty with Hagrid and Harry and Hermione and Ron on the cover. It is very, very pretty. It, look at this design, it's just so pretty. And underneath it, you also have tiny stars and you have that on, on each book in this box set. So this one is the first. Then we have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I think this is my least favorite cover, but it's still really pretty. Then I think this is my favorite cover and it is The Prisoner of Azkaban. First of all, blue is my favorite color and it's just so pretty with the Patronas on it. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which I really, really love as well. Plus you have the famous trio on the back of the book. Then we have a book number five, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, which is like super huge. It's like so, so big. And Snape on the back. Ooh, this is also one of my favorites and that is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince because Dumbledore is one of my favorite characters ever. So mm, I just love it very, very much. Plus the scene of that cover is just so like famous for the sixth installment in the series. And then the last one is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows and oh, uh, I'm just so in love with these books. They are absolutely stunning. So yeah, I got this box set from my parents for my 18th birthday and it's just mm, the best present ever. Then two of my friends also gave me books for my birthday. So the first book that I have is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I know that this is a very well-known fantasy book about a girl and a village and a wizard who takes a new girl every 10 years, I believe, into his home and it's kind of like mysterious and stuff like that. So can't wait to get to it. And this is the beautiful UK edition. From another one of my friends who always watches my videos. Thank you, Yvonne, hi. Uh, I got Gemina, the second book in the Illuminae Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And this book again is so pretty. I got so many beautiful books. So I will probably tell you that every single time. I have read Illuminae, I think last year somewhere and I really, really enjoyed it. So I can't wait to pick this one up and read uh, another sci-fi book in such a weird but amazing format. So those were the nine books that I got for my birthday and then I'm just gonna go on with the books that I bought myself. So the first book that I have to show you guys to sort of stay in the Harry Potter vibe is the 20th anniversary edition of the Philosopher's Stone in the Ravenclaw edition because I am a Ravenclaw and I'm proud of it. Uh, this book is absolutely amazing. I thought that this was just gonna be a really pretty new copy to my edition but there's also a ton of extra content about your house that you have. It was just so amazing like I didn't know that there was going to be extra content in the book and there was so that was a really really good surprise. Then I bought a couple of books from the second hand section in Amazon so the first one is Vengeance Road by Erin Bowman. I've heard a lot of people talk about this one that this is sort of like a western fantasy maybe I'm not too sure if it's a fantasy though but there's going to be a sequel I believe it's called Retribution Road that is coming Coming out this fall I believe and this book is just absolutely stunning plus when you remove the dust jacket it sort of looks like it's a leather book which is amazing I don't think it is though but this is a secondhand book from a library which is always very interesting to me but it's in good condition plus it has deckled edges and I know a lot of people love deckled edges 
I'm not a super big fan of it, but it is a beautiful hardcover book. The second book that I bought second-handed is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, and this hardcover is shiny. This is a fantasy book about, I believe, a truth witch who can tell when people are lying or not. Plus, she has a friend who is a thread witch, uh, and she can see like the bonds between people. I have been watching this book for a little while on Amazon but knew it costs 17 euros and I don't want to spend that much money on it and I got this one right now for like four which is an amazing deal. This also came from a library uh, but I um, could remove like the plastic wrap around the book just as well with Vengeance Road there was like this plastic wrap on it but I wasn't able to remove the plastic wrap from Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Road so I have this like really obvious a library edition uh, but the thing is this was supposed to be in really good condition and it's like falling apart like I can move the spine uh, the pages are super yellow and I don't know it's just not in the condition that I wanted it to be but I'm still gonna read this edition this is sort of like a fantasy novel and a ton of people said that if you are a fan of Game of Thrones you are really gonna like this because there are a ton of different perspectives in this series so yeah we shall see if I like it as well because I love Game of Thrones. Then I just had to absolutely get this edition of the next book that I'm gonna show you guys because this book was in the May or no in the April fairy loot box and oh my god this book is so pretty and it is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I have no clue what this book is about but I feel like that is the right way to get into it but I bought this because in the fairy loot box the pages were sprayed blue and I thought I was gonna get that one too but these pages are not blue so that was a little bit of a disappointment but still this cover is just absolutely stunning so when you also look at the spine you have a little dragonfly on it as well and this is a fantasy read I don't know if it's high fantasy or normal fantasy but I love me some good fantasy so I hope that I will be able to read this this summer because it's probably gonna take me a little while to get into it and I just want to read a Lainey Taylor book for once obviously I had to get this book everyone has gotten this book in the past at least two months and that is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas and I'm kind of scared to read this one right now because I've heard a ton of mixed things about it. I feel like the majority of people liked it, but it wasn't as good as A Court of uh, Mist and Fury. But I've also heard a lot of people who really did not like this one. Uh, this is the continuation and also the final book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy. And I reread Akatar in June and I started my reread of Akamath as well, but i just not really feeling it right now, so I just stopped rereading it. But after Akamath, I'm definitely gonna read Akawar, but I'm just kind of afraid of it right now because I haven't heard that amazing things. But we shall see what I think about it when I read it. The next book that I got is Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy and this one is a really interesting one. I stumbled upon this book a couple of weeks ago on Goodreads and it had really really low ratings like a 3.2 out of 5 stars before this one even came out and people hadn't even read it and they gave this book like a 1 or 2 out of 5 stars and people gave this one like a 1 or 2 out of 5 stars because this book is about a lesbian girl but all of a sudden a, an old friend from back in the day comes back to their hometown and she starts hanging out with him again and she's sort of like getting feelings for him again or she's like do I like boys as well right now am I bisexual or is this just like a weird feeling that I'm having and it doesn't make any sense and a ton of people really were like not happy about that because this book sort of came across as like a boy makes me a heterosexual or a bisexual person but I've heard a lot of people who have read this book that they absolutely adored it and I am very interested to see how I will feel about this because usually I don't pick up books that have like a lower rating than a 3.8 out of 5 stars and I was just so intrigued by the controversy about it. I myself am not a part of the LGBTQ plus community. I am straight so I cannot really judge anything about that really but I just want to read this and find out how I feel about it myself but I have a feeling that I'm really gonna like this one actually. So those were the books that I bought like a couple of weeks ago but now I'm gonna show you guys the four books that I bought yesterday. Um, I've already shown them on my bookstagram because I've been more active on it lately so if you want to follow me on my bookstagram and on my Goodreads page you can uh, click the link in the description down below. You can also follow me on my uh, personal Instagram, my Snapchat and you can even send me emails. So go check that out but yesterday on my bookstagram I did like a live video and I unboxed these four books. I got these basically for free because I'm sort of like on a book buying ban right now and I can only buy books if I have like gift cards or something. I'm not gonna spend 
any money on books for the next couple of months but I bought these books and uh, they in total were like 22 euros and I had a gift card for exactly that so that was amazing. These books are so cheap so I'm very excited that I got them. The first one is Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wayne Jones and this is kind of like an old story. I believe that this is uh, from like 1968 so it's been around here for a little while. I've heard that the movie is really really awesome. I haven't seen the movie myself so I want to read the book first but this is the first book in a fantasy trilogy I believe but I feel like you can also read this book as like a standalone so we shall see what I will do with it. Um, I have no clue what this is about and I want to keep it that way. The next one I'm super excited about and is The Manifesto on How to Be Interesting by Holly Bourne. My booktube friend Karis from Karis on Reading absolutely loves Holly Bourne especially her spinster trilogy which uh, starts with Am I Normal Yet? I also have that one like right there somewhere around there uh, but I found this one for six euros and it is such an amazing book like the pages are bright red and uh, I only know that this is a contemporary and that's all that I need to know and it's by Holly Bourne. Another very very popular contemporary that I bought is Jellico Road by Melina Marchetta and this book came out about 10 years ago and it has gotten so much hype like this is supposed to be a really really good contemporary and I feel like it's sort of like a modern classic but I'm not too sure about that though. Again, I don't know what this is about but guys look at the font. This is ridiculous like half of the page has letters on it and the other half is just blank so I feel like this should be a quick read even though it's 400 pages. I feel like I could read this in a couple of days. And then the last book that I bought with my gift card is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor and this edition is absolutely gorgeous. I hate the US editions with like the weird faces and the masks and the blue, red, and yellow and these ones are the UK ones and they are so pretty. I mean look at this. If you don't think that this is pretty you are kind of crazy. This is the first book in I believe the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy and I've heard nothing but great things about this. Um, I thought that this was gonna be a very like regular UK paperback. Those are very like sturdy but this one is definitely more of like a floppy paperback which I'm really excited about. This is I think like an urban or high fantasy kind of book and I just I don't know which one I'm gonna read first. I think I'm gonna read Strange to the Dreamer first by Lady Taylor and then I'm gonna start this trilogy. Okay so right now let's go to the last three books that I have in this haul and they are all from the fairy loot boxes of May and June. So if you haven't seen those unboxings I, I filmed them and you can click in the description down below so I will leave a link there and you can see what other things there were in the fairy loot boxes. So in the May fairy loot box there were two books and the first one is World Mythology and Bite Size Chunks by Mark Daniels. So this is like just sort of like an information book about all the different kinds of mythology like Chinese, Roman, Greek, Norse, etc, etc. And um, yeah, I think that this is just really interesting and I'm definitely gonna read more about especially Roman, Greek, and Norse because I'm super interested in those. The main book that was in the main box is Flame in the Mist by Rene Audier and this is sort of like a Mulan retelling but I've heard other people say that it's completely not but it's sort of like inspired by I believe like Japanese culture. And then in the June Fairy Loot box there was A Roar by Cora Carmack and I'm currently reading this book as you guys can probably tell. I am halfway through and right now the fun is really starting. This is a fantasy book about a world where uh, people control storms if they have magic, if they are really really powerful. And in this world they think that normally these powers are passed over from family member to family member, you know, from parents to children. And our main character Aurora is going to become queen of the city of Pavan but she doesn't have any powers and no one knows it because she's like part of this really big royal family who is known for having a ton of powers but she doesn't have any and she finds out that there are other ways of obtaining power than just being part of a very well-known magical family. You can also hunt storms, get their heart and their magic and then that power becomes yours. Eventually she will go on a hunt with this group who hunts storms and Aurora is planning on getting her power 
power from the storms because otherwise she will have to marry this kind of like evil prince from another um, city and she doesn't want that. I am really loving Cora Carmax's writing style. The book is a little bit, I won't say disappointing, but it's a little less of what I thought it was going to be. Right now the action is coming, I feel like, but it took like 150 pages. So those were the 23 books that I have bought or that I've gotten as like presents or in my fairy loot boxes for the past three months. Right now I definitely have to go on a book buying ban because I have so many books on my TBR right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!